Hi everybody, Merry Christmas. It's Danielle from Door 43 here. Uh, just making a short video just to give some tips um, and some information um, about staying well over the Christmas period. As we all know, 2020 has been a really difficult year for everyone. Um, and it's always normal to have ups and downs at Christmas. But this year is especially hard for a lot of people. Um, so, you know, we might be worrying about having enough money to buy presents for our families or to buy um, food. Um, we might feel lonely. We might um, be stressed about having to spend time with our family. Uh, there can be a lot of difficulties going on. Uh, and then also, this is a time of year when a lot of people find that their mood uh, is lower than usual um, and they might get the winter blues or, you know, seasonal effectiveness disorder. Um, but yeah, if you are struggling at Christmas, there are people out there who can help. So I'm going to tell you a little bit of information um, about where you can get support. So one way that you can get some support at Christmas um, is through Calm, which is the Campaign Against Living Miserably. Their website is thecalmzone.net um, and if you go on there, um, they've got a helpline and a web chat and they're both available from 5pm till midnight every day, including on Christmas Day. So if you need somebody to speak to, um, that's one service that's there to help you. Um, also, for under-18s, there's Childline as well. The Childline phone number is 0800 1111, or if you go on their website, you can send them an email or a message, um, or you can chat to someone online. Their website is childline.org.uk. So I'm going to share some tips for getting through Christmas, which um, have been created by Mind, the mental health charity. So the first tip is to be gentle, generous and patient with yourself. Um, this is something that we should always do. But again, you know, at this time of year and especially during this time of global pandemic, we need to be kinder to ourselves than normal. So... It's about prioritising what's best for you and what's most important for you. Um, and you don't have to um, go along with other people's priorities if that's going to have a negative impact on you. Another tip from mind is to plan ahead. So if you know that you find certain things difficult, if you know that there are triggers that you might have, um, places that you don't like to go, um, or people that you might be seeing who, um, you know, could be triggering for you, um, then plan how you're going to deal with that. If there are, you know, techniques and things that you can use to help manage any symptoms of anxiety or depression, um, then plan how you're going to, to do those. You know, there might be um, comforting uh, items that you can keep with you, you know, that all that you can use to self soothe if you get overwhelmed. So it might be like a blanket or a cuddly toy, anything at all that's that's helpful for you. One of the tips in here, um, which I think is really useful, is if you're not looking forward to doing something, if you feel like you're dreading it a bit, then think: Do you really need to do that? You know, is that um, something that that will be helpful for you um, and is it worth the the distress that it may cause you so make sure that you're making decisions for yourself so then we also have on here about managing relationships there might be people that you're going to see over this period who um, you have a difficult relationship with um, and you know especially this year maybe you've not seen these people um as much as you normally would uh and that might make the prospect of seeing them more daunting um 
So if there are people who you think might ask difficult questions or, um, you know, there'll be conversations that you might find uncomfortable, plan ahead for how you can manage that. Think of ways that you can sort of exit any difficult conversations because you don't have to have any... Um, any difficult conversations that you don't want and that are making you uncomfortable. Um, so, you know, you can just change the change the subject uh, if you don't want to address it directly. Um, so think about what you might say to someone. You can practice that. And it just makes it a bit easier to actually do it for real. Lastly, if you're struggling at all, then talk to someone about how you're feeling. Either, you know, a friend or a family member that you can trust or some of the services that I've already mentioned. And also there's going to be posts on the grid that will uh, have information for other services that can that can offer help at this time. Um, and also the information I've given here is going to be summarised in those posts. Um, but yes, just remember that there are people there who can help you. Um, and even if you feel alone at Christmas, you're not alone. Um, you know, and this is a time that lots of people are going to find difficult. So I hope everyone has a safe um, and happy as possible festive period um, where you feel that you can be yourself. Um, and we'll see you in 2021.